there little snowflakes. It's me, more than a girl, aka Sydney. And I do believe that while I was um, doing the little other kin tag that I posted uh, a bit ago, there was a question about my explanation for theory anthropy or if I had an explanation and I think I said that I would make a video expanding on my uh, my theories for why Therians exist and why I am a Therian. Um, there are a few um, I don't know if I want to say widely accepted theories on why Therians exist, uh, namely reincarnation, misplaced souls, and soul shards. I think Therian Nation has a video um, about the different reasons for why there are Therians. If I can find it, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, but my own personal reason or explanation for Therianthropy is misplaced souls. I do believe in reincarnation. But I think that just because you were an animal in a past life doesn't automati automatically make you a Therian. To be a Therian, you need to be a human person who identifies as an animal. And other kin are the same, only instead of animals known to exist on Earth, they are animals that either aren't known to exist on Earth or definitely do not exist on Earth. You know, like the oceans are very large I think there might be mermaids somewhere and you know in space there might be aliens there probably are aliens but still aliens are considered other kin because obviously they are on earth even if they are in our universe anyway it is starting to rain so I should probably hurry, hurry this up my own personal explanation for why I am a Therian is that my soul and perhaps I will do a later video debating the existence of souls because that's craziness um my soul my essence my spirit my whatever you want to call it the stuff that makes me me was put into a human body and it was not supposed to be put into a human body it was supposed to be put into a wolf body maybe or perhaps it was supposed to be put in the body of a person who lives in a different dimension who can be human half the time and can be a wolf half the time like uh, a wolf shapeshifter or a wolf blood if you want to call it that because uh, wolf blood is an awesome show and everyone should go watch it um, I was not supposed to be in a human body I mean there's nothing wrong with this body it's okay I guess I mean the body it serves its purpose I wish it was stronger I wish it were faster I wish it looked a little bit different but you know as far as bodies go it's not the worst but it's still it's not mine and this feeling of not having the right body is I guess what leads to what some Therians and other can call uh, species dysmorphia, I think it's called. Um, which I guess is kind of like when trans people get dis gender dysphoria, but you know, not for genders. Um, so yeah, I feel like, um, one, I wasn't supposed to be put in this body, and two, I wasn't supposed to be put in this dimension. Now, that may seem a, a little weird to most people, like a lot of people can easily grasp the idea that, oh, you were meant to be in a different body, especially with all the, uh, you know, trans gender stuff going on it's a lot easier for people to accept the fact that you weren't born into the body you were supposed to be born into but a lot of people don't believe in the existence of other dimensions so it's harder for people to grasp the concept that there are other worlds out there besides our own and i'm not talking like other planets i'm talking about other realities complete other universes 
Um, if anyone reads Terry Pratchett, uh, he does a lot of stuff with uh, alternate realities and all of that. Um, and I was supposed to be born into a reality where there are mythical creatures. And that is um, my explanation for being other kin is that um, magical, mythical, supernatural creatures exist just not here. They exist on the astral plane or in completely different dimensions, um, but they do exist. And sometimes souls or spirits, whatever you want to call it, can, um, I don't know, maybe get confused when they're trying to make it into a new body or maybe something can knock it off course. And they end up not only going into the wrong body, but into the wrong reality. Um, so yeah, that's my explanation for theory, anthropy, and other kin. That's why, um, like I know there are a lot of people who accept theory, anthropy, but they don't really accept other kin because they're like, oh well, yeah, I can understand you having the soul of a creature that I know, that I know exists like a wolf or a lion or a cat or a dog or whatever but oh you think you're a dragon dragons aren't even real mm. yeah maybe not here they're not real and that's why it's a lot easier for me to accept other kin and being other kin because I already believed in the existence of alternate realities Sorry. Um, so yeah, that's my <laughs> rambling rant on uh, uh, why I'm a theory and why theorians and other can exist. Comment below, talk to me, discuss with me what, what, why do you think theorians and other can exist? What is your explanation? Is it soul shards or misplaced souls? Which I guess the way I understood soul shards was kind of like misplaced souls, but instead of a whole soul being misplaced, it's parts of a soul, parts of different souls coming together into one body, and that explains polytherians and polyken. Um, but before this video gets too long, Let's discuss what are your reasons for why Therians and other can exist. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and most importantly, stay special little snowflakes. Bye!